Hi, this is Bill Barber. For the last year and a half, it has been my honor to be president of NAFA Indiana. This has been a very tumultuous time for our association. During my term, we reorganized, eliminating local chapters and consolidating administrative duties at the state level. We changed from a fiscal year to a calendar year, meaning all the state officers had to commit to 18-month terms. We've had successes and setbacks, and we face serious challenges going forward. But I know if we stick together, we can take on anything. This year, even while we adapted to our new organizational structure, we had a well-attended Alseer Day on the Hill, where we met with key state government leaders and cemented our position as a preeminent advocacy organization in the financial services industry. We followed that up by sending a great delegation to the NAFA Congressional Conference in Washington, D.C., where Congresswoman Jackie Walorski exuberantly praised NAFA Indiana. Go to our website to see a video of her speech. Our main mission in D.C. was to gather support for the SECURE Act, which indeed passed the House of Representatives with broad bipartisan support shortly after our visit. We expanded our advocacy work beyond the State House walls by hosting a bonfire for our state's legislators in Westfield this fall. We found the casual setting lent itself to exchange of ideas and cementing relationships with key political leaders. We received much positive feedback from attendees and we're already planning a similar event for next year. Beyond our advocacy work, NAFA Indiana has continued to provide world-class continuing education to its members in person and online so our members can get the CE they need either by gathering in groups or from the convenience of their homes and offices whatever works best for them. And we are going to continue in that direction. Your board of trustees has committed to providing our members 24 hours of CE every two years at no additional charge. But we're not gonna stop there. We're also going to continue to offer the Leadership and Life Institute, NAFA's proprietary life-changing leadership program annually. That, combined with the myriad of educational resources available on the national website should give our members the professional development they need to grow their practices and serve their clients. We have also committed to keeping you informed. The elimination of locals means a state association will have to be your primary source of information on state and local issues, and we are doing our utmost to meet that obligation. This year we formed a communication task force and began to think outside the box when it comes to keeping you in contact. We have upped our social media presence revised our website, and expanded our video offerings, your monthly video newsletter being just one of them. We are not just going to tell you what we're doing, we're going to show you. I'm pleased to report to you that our video communications have become a national model. As a matter of fact, NAFA National was so impressed with our videos, they hired our crew to cover the NAFA National Convention in Orlando this year and ask our communications chair to serve on a NAFA National Communications Committee. That's not to say everything is rosy. NAFA Indiana faces some serious challenges, particularly in the area of membership. Elimination of locals has resulted in a steep drop in membership, but our new membership chair, Jeff Gorelchek, has a good plan and we're going to execute it. But we'll need your help. Membership is everybody's business. I think NAFA Indiana is positioned for explosive growth and we have the right leaders in place to make it happen. 2020 President Joe Serta and President-elect Daniel Stallings will make a great team to guide your professional organization for the coming year. And I'm not going anywhere. As immediate past president, I plan on advising and assisting Joe and Daniel as they lead NAFA Indiana into the future. And I ask you to do the same. Stay engaged, stay involved. Your trustees serve at your pleasure, but they can't do their jobs without your assistance. If you have an idea, share it. If you see something you don't like, tell us. Your leaders are only as good as you make them. Thank you for giving me the honor of serving as your president for the last 18 months. I'll always treasure that opportunity. I ask you to throw your full support behind your new leaders and remember, together we can take on anything.